Hi, today I'm going to take you on a tour of some of the students that I've just recently seen graduate at Grand Canyon University. So this is a room full of brilliant minds, and they're just all ready to launch into their careers. So we're going to look at some of the projects that they developed for their senior capstone. So they've been working on this project for about a year. Let's start with Michael. He created an application that will monitor a dryer and tell you when the cycle is over. So he's got this little tiny model with a Raspberry Pi attached to it, an accelerometer, and it will talk to your cell phone to let you know when the cycle is over. All of these projects have a lot of technology behind them. This is Onur. He created an application for social gamers, and it allows you to link up with another partner. So you choose your game and it'll find somebody for you and then you can go ahead and start with your head-to-head -head competition. Now we're going to look at Casey's project, which is, I would call it, the motivational mirror. So it's another integration of hardware and software. So it includes uh, Python, a Maria database, a front end with a web, and then we've got uh, Raspberry Pi in the back. And by the time you're all done, you have this beautiful mirror that will give you compliments and tell you what the weather is. So integration from multiple different clients and servers all in one package. Next, we're going to look at Jack. So Jack works in a place where they have a community management problem. They have like five applications that all do things from security to registration to meals. And so Jack's Java application with a view front end will take care of all of this with one single password and one united set of data with a nice SQL database in the back end. <laughs> Next, we're going to take a look at Sal. So Sal is learning how to do FPGA programming. So he's already a web developer and got a full-time job, but he's interested in more of the electrical engineering kinds of things. And so FPGA programming is his interest, and he's demonstrating that he's able to work with this board. So it's programming, but more with hardware integration again. His plan is to get a master's degree in electrical engineering. Now let's take a look at Safa and with Anna. They've created an application that will track all of the golf carts used on the Grand Canyon University campus. So there's golf carts everywhere from security to events management. So they have a device here that has a Wi-Fi antenna as well as a GPS tracker and then they integrate it with a database that tracks in real time where the carts are. And You can find out where the nearest cart is, you can find out where the lost carts are, you can do all kinds of analysis. Now let's take a look at Micah. Micah built himself a portfolio application. So he's demonstrating what he did in his four years of school here. So a good front end attached to a full stack application written in Java. Now Derek and Colin have created an application in Mac iOS. And so it's an application that will give you motivational reading depending on your mood. And so it'll go to the internet and find various sources, whether they're open source or on the Bible. And you can see that they use a variety of technology as well in building this application that looks simple on the front end, but has a complex design as well. Now let's move over to the computer science hallway. And we're going to hear from Justin, who has an AI agent that will generate music. Now let's take a look at Emily. She has taken a, an OCR or optical character recognition library and built an application using Python. So that way you can track your scan documents and see the results of how accurate they are. So many computer science students are very good at taking existing libraries and integrating them into a problem solving application. Justin created an application where he is able to teach students how digital circuits were. So AND gates and OR gates and how they work together into a nice format, some somewhat of a gamified version 
of learning to program in circuits. So the university is very concerned about the nutrition it's providing to its students. Um, so this allows students to track what they're eating and then also provides information. So Adam has created an application that tracks nutrition and the nutrition information done on different areas of the campus, uh, the various restaurants and dining centers. Ryan and his team attempted to create a virtual keyboard where you can play with your bare hands on the desk and have a piano. Do you know a song in your head? How about the Star Spangled Banner? Oh yeah, that's oh, like yeah. Star. It's gotta be on there, right? You'd hope so. So right now you'll see what the EXE, it is searching on the web for it, and you'll see all these responses hopefully popping up. There we go, lots of Star Spangled Banner results. It'll find the top one, one with the most likes. Okay. So, awesome. and then boom, <laughs> and hopefully this is it. Hopefully this is it. Let's see if we can hear it. The virtual reality part of the program uh, turned out to be more difficult than they planned, but they still have the main part where it's able to go to the internet, find a MIDI file, and scrape it, and then turn it into a song that you can play in a VR headset. <laughs> Andrew created an application that is a virtual reality interface to a operating system. So imagine File Explorer, but now in a 3D realm. So you can pick up files and move them to different folders and play them in your application of choice. Let's hear what Joy has to say. So she built an, a Unity application that is to address student learning preferences. So this is really impressive. A room full of brilliant young minds that are ready to go out and get great jobs. I'm really proud of what these students have become in the last four years that I've watched them grow.